Hello everybody and welcome to the second uh, little video and we're talking about spiritual portals and I've put this one as number two because one of the questions people ask me all the time is this, can the enemy interfere with a spiritual portal and how does it work? All right and so this is hopefully going to show you a little bit more about what can happen in the realm of the spirit. My prayer is that as we watch this together, that we learn an awful lot more as to what is actually happening. And can I just remind you that we said that a spiritual portal is one that is open from the third heaven, where you've got the throne room of God, you've got the government of God, and where it travels down to the earth to accomplish the purposes and the plan of God, on the earth with his servants, on the earth in general. And we wonder why sometimes is there opposition. Now remember that Satan has no access anymore, him and the third of the uh, the angels who fell. And by the way, there weren't just small angels that fell. There were some mighty, powerful angels who were sent out of third heaven along with Satan. So you're not talking about tiny little demons here, okay? A third of them were expelled, but they no longer have access to third heaven. Unfortunately, they do have a bit of an idea as to how things work and how to create opposition so that the plans of God are thwarted or delayed. And we'll have a look at this. The best possible example is the book of Daniel. And even though you might think, oh dear, how will I understand the book of Daniel? It's so complicated. I agree it is. But there is some magnificent verses in there that give a really good indication as to what can happen and gives us some significant keys for when we are looking at interference in a spiritual portal. All right. Now, I want us to go, please, to Daniel. And if you would turn in your Bible to Daniel and chapter nine. And we hear we it says here it's the first year of Darius, the reign of Darius, who is of the the uh, Medes, and he is the king. And here we've got God working. You see, some portals that are of God can be closed for a time. All right. And we want to look at why some portals can be closed and why when God sends messengers and alerts people on the earth that there is a particular time or season coming where that portal should be opened again, that the enemy will try and oppose you. Now, Daniel here has understood in the first year of the reign of Darius, it says, I, Daniel, verse two, understood by books the number of the years whereof the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah the prophet that he would accomplish 70 years in the desolations of Jerusalem. Them. In other words, Daniel's a seeker. He's been seeking the scriptures and he knows that the time of Babylon, uh, the captivity in Babylon, was decreed to be 70 years. If you, ha if you have a look, if you can track straight back in the book of Jeremiah 25 and verse 11, where I'll read to you, it says, and the whole land shall be a desolation. In other words, it will be destroyed and neglected. It will be an astonishment, not a good one. And all these nations shall serve the king of Babylon 70 years. And it ends up, nothing will change that. The sin of the nation has been such that God has decided this exile shall take place. And he has appointed 70 years. Now, in Babylon... Daniel has set himself to understand this and the spirit of the Lord is moving strongly through Daniel. The only other person who I think experienced the, is the like of this is John the Apostle in Revelations and I like to think of the two of them uh, being together in all of this. It's helpful when we look at some of the imagery as well. So 70 years have been purposed. Now Daniel's feeling this and Daniel is now 
repenting. The whole of Daniel chapter 9 is Daniel taking upon himself to repent for the idolatry and the sin of the nation that led to the judgment of 70 years of captivity in the first place. All right? Now, he's in the right place. He's in the right time. He sees that the portal that would have allowed God's purposes for favour again on the nation are closed because nobody has repented for the sin. So Daniel takes that burden upon himself. I hope you're listening to this because it could be in any portal that you are guarding that you are the one who has to do the repentance for something that has happened in the past, which has caused an open portal between third heaven and the earth to be blocked and to be stopped, even right down to this day. All right. Now, we know that there is a battle goes on. And if you go ahead and you look right through to Daniel 10, don't worry, I'm not going to read all of it. Now, it is heard straight away that Daniel's repentance, heaven's been waiting. And you know, if you look before skipping to Daniel 10, have a look at Daniel 9 and verse 21. Daniel is still speaking in prayer and the man Gabriel who is seen in the vision at the beginning being caused to fly swiftly touched me about the time of the evening oblation. That is tremendous the speed of God's answer there when you look at it. Repentance opens portals and repentance also allows God to send the angelic realm to help you. We can go into a lot of detail. We haven't got time here how it works, but we all know that Gabriel is the sent messenger. And we know that the beginning of the sequence of historical events that release the Jewish people to go back to Jerusalem are triggered by Daniel, realizing that it is coming to the end of those 70 years. OK, now go to chapter 10 and we now with Cyrus, the king of Persia, because Daniel, he's lived like John to be a very, very old man. And he sees the reign of several different kings and Daniel has been asking for help. But you see, we all know about this, that he has been contested, his prayers being contested by the, the fallen princes who are in second heaven they have no access access to third but they have no interest in forgiveness coming in favor coming and they're trying to block things and you we get this tremendous insight where you get fear not daniel you're greatly beloved you from the first day you set your heart to understand your words were heard but what happened? Why the delay? The prince of the kingdom of Persia withstood me one and twenty days. But Michael, one of the chief princes, came to help me. And I remained there with the kings of Persia. And you see the interaction going on. By the way, the prince of Persia is not one of the good um, archangels is a fallen prince all right and you see that it takes Michael the champion a mighty warrior archangel to actually release things so that the message can get through and it's just like that in our portals as well that they can be interference and there can be a delay and we can say but our repentance is genuine we've got before the Lord we've prayed we have fasted perhaps we've got others to together to do it and we don't instantly see the answer but we do know that a lot more is going on in the heavenly realm than we do so in answer I'm going to answer my own question and the question of a lot of people uh, so far this year can the enemy interfere with the portals yes he can cause delay he can cause uh, uproar he can cause warfare to break out in second heaven but in the end we know that the purposes of our God are going to prevail so I would like you to think about that 
in terms of all of the portals you may have experienced yourself, perhaps some of them, your position there, a, a watchman or a watchwoman over them. Think of what has been happening. Maybe you think, well, I haven't seen Gabriel, I haven't seen Michael. Well, okay, but be aware that they are there. And when you make genuine repentance, the Lord, he does hear. And you are loosening things. And in our day, I really believe that there are going to be some portals that have been blocked for many a long year that are going to be unblocked by the strategic repentant prayer of men and women on the earth. And we will see that the delays, sometimes the delays can be hundreds of years. But once somebody picks up a covenant relationship that there has been in the past, even if God himself, as is the case with Daniel's people, has said 70 years, and I won't change my mind, says the Lord, but he will begin to move at a strategic time and a strategic season on strategic people so that they are given the opportunity to repent so that that portal of favour can be opened again in a place and that that portal can once again be used. Amen. So I hope you enjoy doing that wherever you find yourself today.